Hi folks, Ray here. I've got yet another good idea. I think it's a good idea and it actually helps you look after your equipment as well. This is a lead for guitars, microphones, whatever. And there's a special way of winding these up so they don't get tangled. You watch this and I'll throw it in that direction there. See how it went out without being tangled. Now this is how you wind it up so it never gets tangled. Especially with these sort of leads, you've got to wind them one way. See what my right hand here, I give it a twist clockwise. Then I give it a twist, pull out at a certain distance, and I give it a twist anti-clockwise. And see how it loops in there like that. So and underneath. Clockwise, then anti-clockwise, and it goes underneath. I'll come on this side to do it. Clockwise. Anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. But if you have to stash these away and you're afraid of them getting tangled, what you can do is don't tie a knot in these leads ever because it wrecks the cable. You see, one's getting normally wind up like this, one's getting twisted one way, the other one's getting twisted back again, so it balances it out instead of all being twisted the same way. It's a pain. So to do this, just keep winding it around like that. And there you have a nice, neat lead. And when we come to use it again, we take it out, unwind it, undo those, that simple knot. And then I'm going to throw it again. There it goes there. Untangled. How's that? Really good. And when you get really good at it, you watch how fast it goes. So here we go. You can do this to electrical cables too, your extension leads, all those sorts of things. Even hoses. Works really well for hoses, but you do that horizontally on the ground. And I'm going to show you that one. So just follow me. This is an extension of um, me showing you how to wind the extension leads just before. And this is to do with hoses. Instead of the extension leads doing it in my hand like that, this is done horizontally. So just watch this. I pick up the hose and first of all I rotate clockwise. So clockwise like that. Then I rotate anti-clockwise. So I put a twist in it like that and I throw it under like that. So, clockwise, twist, anti-clockwise, like that, under. And when you get the swing of it, you can do it really fast. And it's all neat and tidy. So you don't get it twisted. So what's happened is you've got one twist going that way, the other one going that way. So they're opposing each other each time. And when you pull it out, it comes out really easily. Like if you kept twisting the same way, you might have seen this before, people twisting things the same way, you undo it. Ah, oh, such a damn mess. You watch this. I'll go for a walk with my hose. Pulling it out. See how it's untangled right there. This comes straight out. Like that. So we've looked at leads and hoses with the same principle. No tangling whatsoever. Works really well. Hope you can take this one into your house. You can do it with extension leads as well. You can, I used to do it in mountaineering with climbing ropes, that sort of thing. I just thought of another way of rolling up hoses. And um, this one is really simple. So just watch this. The hose goes way down there. It's a mess. So this is called the figure of eight nectar. Really simple. Puts a twist in a different way as well. Fast. So I put the twist one way, then take the twist back the other way, so you don't get a tangled hose in the end when you pull it out. So there it is there. I'll pull it out. You watch this. Nothing. 
no problems. So there it is. So that's two basic methods I've showed you. The only thing about this one is it actually takes up more room. It's simplest. It's the simplest of the whole lot, but it takes up more room. And it works in the horizontal. So there you go. Go for it. Take your pick. Do what you like. If you like this, click the like below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, go for it and subscribe. See you later.